Purdue University police believe that one roommate killed another here at McCutcheon Hall early Wednesday morning. Students that I talked to say that the mood is somber, as many of them are surprised something like this could happen on a campus where they normally feel safe. It just never really crossed my mind that something like this would happen. I mean, you hear about shootings, but this is like a stabbing. Like, that's, it's crazy. Purdue University police got a call just after 1230 in the morning Wednesday. The call came from the suspect in this homicide investigation. He called police to report that his roommate was dead. A piece of information two roommates in the same dorm I talked to were stunned to hear. For us, it was really a shock, everything. I mean, we didn't get the news up until eight hours later. And I found out by, because a friend of mine came over to tell us. I didn't even hear any noise. That's the most shocking thing about it. The victim, 20-year-old Varun Chetta, was a senior studying data science, according to Purdue police. Following an autopsy by the Tippecanoe County coroner, it was determined that Chetta was stabbed to death. The university didn't notify students until several hours after the crime occurred. I don't want to assume, but they didn't take the necessary measures, I believe, in my opinion, to address this kind of circumstance that happened last night. The homicide has some students on edge and feeling a lack of safety. I feel very, I felt very safe in my residence hall. We never locked our doors, but now with this, we're definitely going to sleep with our door locks. Even though the students I spoke to didn't know Varun Shetta personally, they say it still feels like they lost someone they care about. Even if, like, I don't know the person, I don't know, like, fully what happened, but it's like, because it's such a family atmosphere and we're all, like, all Boilermakers, it just really hurts when you hear something like that. We will not be naming the suspect in this homicide investigation until he is formally charged, as we do with all criminal investigations. The university is offering counseling to those in need. Counselors will be taking walk-ins. Working for you at Purdue University, Meredith Hackler, WRTV. And students on social media are planning an on-campus vigil at the unfinished P block. That's happening at 8 o'clock this evening. The last time Purdue had an on-campus homicide, January of 2014, 21-year-old Andrew Bolt was shot and killed in a classroom. Bolt was an undergraduate teaching assistant from Wisconsin studying engineering at Purdue. The suspect eventually committed suicide in prison. As soon as we get new information about today's homicide at Purdue, we'll bring it to you on WRTV.com, the WRTV app, as well as on our social media accounts.